Hi, this is Kanthik from Fisherman Twining Institute, Salala Oman. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I am going to teach you how to create a relationship between tables in Microsoft Access 2010. Once again, I repeat the topic, how to create a relationship between tables in Microsoft Access 2010. In order to achieve this task, we want to open Microsoft Access 2010. How to open Microsoft Access 2010? It's quite simple. Go to Start, go to All Programs, go to Microsoft Office where you can able to find Microsoft Access 2010 as the first option. Just click Microsoft Access 2010 in order to open it. Whenever you open Microsoft Access 2010, it will take you to a view called as Backstage View. By default, the option new and blank databases are selected. All your work will be saved in the default location document. I wish to change this location. How to change the location? Here you can able to see an icon called browse icon. You just click browse icon. When you click browse icon, it will generate file new database dialog box where you can able to navigate to different places in your computer. So I'm going to navigate to desktop where I'm going to create a new folder. Let us say MS Access Relationship. Okay. And open. And now we want to provide the database. Let us say student db database and click ok now you want to create a database how to create a database you can able to see an icon you just click the create icon in order to create a database whenever you click the create icon it will generate the database and by default it will create a table called table 1 so now we want to redesign the table 1 so just select the table one and switch to design view. How to switch to design view? Here is the option view. Just click on view and choose the design view. Whenever you click on design view for first time, it will ask for the table name. So provide the table name. I'm going to name it as student name. Click OK. So by default, when I open the table, by default, the first row will be marked with the primary key. So in order to remove it, just select the row and remove this primary key. So now I'm going to change this as student ID. And it's going to be number, let us say, okay, let us say student ID. There is no need you want to provide the description. It's an optional. Now, next field name is student name. Anyway, it's going to be text. Anyway, if you need to establish the relationship between the table, we are in need or we need of a primary key. So, I'm going to mark student ID as a primary key. Just select the row and click on primary key. So now the primary key has been inserted on the row student ID. Okay. Now save and close it. Now double click the student name in order to enter the values. Let us say one student name AAA2. And you can use the different values. There is no need you want to use the same value. What I'm using right here. So, okay, fine, save it. Now, I need to create one more table. So, how to create a table? So, go to create tab where I can able to see this uh, table. You just click on table in order to create a new table. Again, select the table one and switch to 
design view so provide the table name let's say IT and click OK so if you need to establish the relationship so in for example in case of student name I'll be using student ID the same ID is ID student ID is a primary key I should use the same field name in case of IT table okay so switch to design view so I'm going to use student ID okay anyway it's going to be number and next I'm going to use the field semester it's going to be number and next I'm going to use the field called mark it's going to be number and save the information and close it just double click the table in order to enter the values let us say one semester one and mark 89 in semester sorry ID 2 let us say semester 1 99 and 3 let us say semester 2 or 69 let us say semester uh, sorry id 4 semester 2 63 and save the information and i need to create one more table same click table go to create tab use uh, table option in order to create a table and whenever you use this option a table one will be created you just select the table one switch to design view and provide a name let us say math again ensure that the primary key should be in student ID so in case of student name and in case of IT table we are using the same student ID so here also we want to use the same student ID it's going to be number let us say semester it's going to be number let us say mark it's going to be number it's very simple and save the information and close close it close everything just double click the table in order to enter the values id1 semester 1 let us say uh, 63 and 2 semester 1 let us say 89 and ID 3 and semester 2 let us say 85 and 4 ID let us say semester 2 99 and save the information and close it I need one more table okay go to create tab and use a table icon in order to create the table just click it whenever you click the table 1 will be created just select the table 1 and switch to design view so now provide the table name as English and click OK so now the same you want to use the student ID as a primary key in order to create a relationship between the tables and in, anyway it's going to be number and semester it's going to be number and mark it's going to be number and save the information and close it double click the table in order to enter the value let us say 1 and semester 1 let us say mark 56 and let us say now id 2 semester 1 63 and id 3 89 there is no need you want to use the same values you can provide the values as you like and save the information and close it now we have created four tables student name math IT and English now we want to create the relationship between the tables how to create the relationship between the tables it's quite easy so you navigate to database tools or click on database tools tab where you can able to find relationship once again I repeat click on database tools where you can able to find relationship you just click on relationship when you click on relationship the show table dialog box will open where it will list the tables and the tables you wish to create the relationship okay I need to add English okay then I want to add IT okay then I want to add max select the table add select the table add 
okay now I'm going to close it now I have created I have inserted the tables now I want to create the relationship between the tables so how to create the relationship if you wish to move the tables it's very easy you just click the table and move it around around the screen so now just double click on this table so when you whenever you double click on the table the edit relationship will open where choose the option create new you just click on create new in order to create a new relationship now select the left table name and you want to select the right table name and then you want to select left column name and right column name. first I am going to select the left table name it's going to be student name and left column name so in this student name the primary key is student ID and right first I want to establish link to IT and here the primary key is student ID and click OK and use the option enforce referential integrity so just check this option and click create in order to create a relationship so now you can able to see the relationship has been created okay now again double click this student ID again I'm going to create one more relationship create and left table choose student name and column choose student ID and right table name choose math and right column name choose student ID and click OK and don't forget just check the option enforce referential integrity and create now I've created the relationship between student name and man now I need to create one more relationship just double click it and use the option create new and select the table name student name and column name student ID because student ID is a primary key and right table name click and use on English and use student ID because student ID is a yes primary key and click OK and don't forget to check the option and first official integrity and create in order to create the relationship now see you have created the relationship so this is how you want to create relationship if you want to delete the relationship it's very simple just click right click delete the relationship will be deleted are you sure you want to permanently delete the selected relationship from your database if you click yes the relationship will be deleted but I wish to keep the relationship so if you want to edit the relationship is just very easy just double click the relationship where you can able to edit it so this is how you want to use your relationship and this is how you can able to use a relationship between the tables. I think you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching this video.